Alright, we're checking out the only game where finding the car with the best handling will enable me to lose my grip on my sanity. It's GTA. We want to find out which vehicle in GTA has the best handling, and so it's time for a brand new challenge. While normally we're usually driving like a bunch of psychopaths, today it's time to find out which vehicle is best at avoiding Grandma who's trying to cross the street in her jazzy powered scooter. Everything from turning to top speed to how well I can fly through the windshield of a car is going to be tested. The car that does the best in the event will get a point, and the car with the most points at the end will be the winner. These are the cars I've been given to use, but as always, only one can get picked for the dodgeball team. Let's do this. Which car performs better on a slow corner track? I'll tell you, I never thought I would see the day when I get into a car and all of the cars around me are real legitimate vehicles. Compete. Yeah. I love that the only context for this challenge is beat the train. So it took me a while to figure out exactly how this works. The train comes on by. There's a poor guy sitting on top of a of like a box over there. He gets murdered and then the barrier comes down and now you can begin the challenge. And so the idea here, I assume, is that you must go throughout these long wavy turns here and try and use the train as a visual aid on whether or not you have any chance of completing the obstacle. Now, in general, anything that is circular in nature is almost assuredly a slowdown stick. I knew it! And that will probably end up murdering me. Now, the thing I don't know yet, well, we're right about neck and neck with the train. And what is this? Oh, it's like a different surface. Okay, so what basically what's happened here is now at the very apex of the corners, we have these different surfaces that are going to try and pull the back end of the car out. Did the entire board just get rearranged? I think part of the board just fell off. Yeah, this is the floor here. The floor moved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I was gonna say is, if you've never messed with the surfaces, which we have, those yellow surfaces are much worse on the tires than the normal roadway. If you try and put any kind of acceleration on while you're going around them, you're gonna end up throwing the back of the car out and probably giving yourself whiplash and then dying. Also, I've been told that eventually I'm going to have to fly through the windshield. I don't know if this is a particular test to see how far the human body flies when it goes through a windshield. I have no idea how that correlates at all with performance, but considering the channel, I guess it makes sense. Doing pretty good so far. Now, corner around the different, oh God, hold on. Corner around the different surfaces. Still pretty good. I don't know, maybe we can make this. The only problem is that the guy is very, like he's much closer to the end than you think. Yeah, so he gets murdered, the floor goes away, and this car is not gonna be able to beat this challenge. That was as good a run as I can get in this. This has a lot of big numbers on it, family. All right, Vin Diesel, let's see if you make me Vin depressed. Wait for it, wait for it, and now. Oh wow, I probably could have, uh, I probably could have released much sooner <laughs> than I did. I didn't realize, oh my God, we're just gonna be drifting this entire course. Well, I mean, it's slow cornering, but it never said how I had to take the corners. So I guess if I just drift my way around all of the corners, it still counts as long as I get to the end. The problem is I can't hit any of the slow down circles or there's no way I'm gonna have any chance at this. I will say, Oh, I hate myself right now. I was going to say, it doesn't feel that bad once you get used to the drifting, but it is slow because of the drifting. I'm losing a ton of speed every time I drift. I go down to like 25 miles an hour. Ow, I just got hit by a different part of the platform. Okay, that car didn't even have a chance at all. We're going to try this, and this feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me some more. Give me some more fire out the back. I love it. Yes. I'm gonna be cooking my sadness like a kosher hot dog on the fires of Hades pouring out of this vehicle. Also, I, oh man. All right, I just have to get used to the handling. I do love the paint job on this car too. It's like uh, kind of like an off-brand spearmint or something like sad mint. Also, the handling isn't bad. Uh, the pickup is not the best but you can keep like a good 70 mile an hour top speed going around most of these corners. Look at that, going to around 69, of course. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly why Alex put this car in here in the first place. How well does it do on the different surfaces? Not bad. Oh yeah. Oh, this might get there. 
this might get there. Hold on. Oh yeah, come on, baby. Wow. Man, I have to do this. I have to shave like another five seconds off this run. <laughs> I can actually land on this. There's just nowhere for me to go after I get here. All right, we're using the electric car. The electric car was made for this because the acceleration off the line is nuts. And the handling is okay. It's not perfect or anything, but just I can make up for it by the sheer amount of speed this thing picks up. Remember how the other car was getting like 69 around the corners? Look at this thing. This thing gets like 75, 85. That's what I'm talking about. Plus, I've done this quite a few times so far. So I'm getting, oh God, I'm getting pretty good at not hitting any of the slowdown circles. They're kind of like, uh, oh, whoa. Bird just landed on one of the slowdown circles, like a small landing pad. My problem is I don't want to get a bunch of poultry caught up inside the wheel well. It's not really going to help my time. Hey! Oh, man. I was right there. One thing Alex did say is that the the timings on these, they're down to the half second. So the car that gets the time is the only car, he said, that will get the time. Just so that... When you find the car that gets the point, you don't have to think that there could have been another car that could have done it. So everything is very precise <laughs> in this. About as precise as a bunch of maniacs can make it, to be fair. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point just a volcano erupts out of the ground and ends up murdering me once I finally complete one of the challenges or something like that. Okay, this is probably my best run. We're going to roll it. Is this the car? The answer is no. I'm ready to get ripped. Well, some part of me is going to get ripped. I just don't know if it's... I can already tell this car is not going to make it. Just from the speed I get going around the corners, if I can't do it at like 86, 87 miles an hour, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it at like high 70s, low 60s. I'm going to try. Doing good so far. Again, this is, a, this is like a perfect run. This is as good as I can get while also now and again, touching the corners a little bit to curb boost when possible. Problem is I don't get much time at all because you almost lose more speed just trying to bank into the corner than you save by getting the extra miles per hour. So this is good. Uh, I have pulled far away from the main part of the train and I'm still like five seconds behind. Looking at all the different cars, I can tell you now just from testing what I've, what I've found so far and the exactness of how close you have to beat it. Oh my God, I almost got backhanded by that wall. It's gonna be an open wheel car. The only question is, I got a 50-50 chance. 50% chance it's this car, 50% chance it's the other open wheel car. Look at how insane this is. This is the difference right now. We are taking these corners at 90 miles an hour. Look at this, 91, 92. Look at how far we are. Ahead of the train. Now these, I do have to slow down a little bit by just not touching the acceleration the whole way through. There we go. Come out of it, accelerate. No big deal. Ooh, almost lost the back end. That's why you don't want to accelerate too early through those. And now we found the right car and it is not close. Look at that. One point for the pink lemonade open wheel car. So you can see 22.5 seconds. That's how precise things are getting. Which car performs better on a fast corner track? So I'm gonna go ahead and say the electric car, but we're gonna try a few others. Maybe if the family car has to turn less, it'll do better. One problem is now I'll basically just be non-stop drifting the whole time. Well, you know what? The corners aren't that bad. These are very languid. What's with the, what's with the barriers on the sides? Oh, is that so I don't curb boost on the inside of the corners? I assume. I have no idea what that would be for. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna try a car we haven't tried yet. This car is plated in <laughs> sadness. So you can't just hug the inside the whole time. So we are gonna have to kind of go to the middle of the track on these ones. But if you stay closest to the side as you can, you're gonna get the best time for sure. 90 miles an hour going around the turns, 100 miles an hour going around the turn did not get there. Now, just because I need to know, I can already tell he put a fail safe in. I was curious if he made it so I can't cheat this. I was gonna just jump <laughs> to the next challenge, but there's a massive space. Ow! 
Oh, it's not the water isn't even deep enough to save me. <laughs> All right, compete. You had performed admirably last time. Not perfect, but admirably. Let's see how well it does. 100. How well does it hold the 100 around the corners? It does really good around these corners. Like, really good. I lose a little bit of the back end. I can feel it coming out every once in a while. 103. 104. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay, so I don't know when this came up, but when I came around that corner, I had already seen it was there. So this isn't going to be it either. I wanted to try this one more time with, like, the best run I could get, and I saw it pop up when I came around that corner. All right, Sadman, you're up. Sadman, 70, 85, 90, 100. This feels a, feels actually very similar to the... Well, maybe it loses more speed on those turns. I was going to say, it feels kind of similar to our last vehicle, but I think it's actually slower. All right, barriers not up, not up, not up, and it's up. I got to try it just to see if I can get this done in this shot. Welcome to the most painful 22.5 seconds of my life. That's not true. I shouldn't say that. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that Alex is going to find additional ways to make me experience even more pain. 105, 107. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 110. Oh, yeah. Our open wheel car is just gonna dominate every single event? Probably. What? Okay, so your strawberry lemonade card over here could not do it. I'm doing this one more time just to make sure that that wasn't some kind of fluke. Man, I can't do it by, I think I, I think I bled in the exact same spot. Two blood spatters right next to one another. That is amazing. I know you're like, man, are you going three for three? I wanted to come to the outside to see if that changed anything. No, it just made me bleed in a different area. All right. This was my guess. My guess was the winner was going to be the electric car. Let's try it. When the, the slushy flavored open wheel car could not beat this, I started to get really concerned because th that car does these turns really good. Oh my God. I think, I don't think that this can get it. This is slower, straight up. I, I think I'm gonna lose right about, now. yeah. Okay, just one last try. I'm trying to skate as close to the tubes as humanly possible, just to see if I can shave off like another second now. All right, Violet Green Sprunk Mobile. The other open wheel car is definitely the more agile of the two. Maybe this can get us more speed, I really don't know. It feels good as it would around all the corners, but it doesn't feel as fast. I don't know if this is gonna get us there either. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're a little bit behind because we're probably about five miles an hour slower than the other open wheel. I've been trying something with this, like the lowest amount of input I can do for these turns. I can get this thing up to 115. Oh my God, no! Okay, if I can run this absolutely perfectly, I think this is the car. He wasn't kidding when he said you have to be perfect. 22.5. Let's do it. So we're going to come right off the curb boost. 101, 102, right off another curb boost. Basically, we're going to hug these red, this corner right here, as much as humanly possible. I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get it. 118. This is it. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> and it makes the jump and somehow I didn't go flying to my death. So that means we got a two-way tie between Strawberry Banana and Violet Sprunk. Okay, so now this is interesting. He's got all the names of the cars on top of the cars. We don't normally have that, so that's weird. But either way, that brings us to which car has the highest top speed. Okay. So this is a challenge where maybe the open wheel cars are not going to have the easy advantage because we have to find out what the numbers are on the bottom for the highest numbers. We're gonna do this without curb boosting. I kind of want to see which one, there, of course there's a windmill at the end. Don't know why that would be there. 120. Oh, we're just frozen at 120. 120. Oh, I see it. Once you get to the end, you have to pick the right option. Screw you, Alex, <laughs> an option. So what happens if you just like pick something? Oh, it brings you back to the beginning. Okay. Electric car. Feels like it would do really good here. Okay. 115, 120, 19. Oh. Huh. So it's just frozen at 119. All right. Wouldn't have expected that. So wait, that wall came up like just barely. 
in the open wheel car. Does this mean I'm just going to like smash into the wall really hard? Oh no, I made it. Well, we know it's not the virtue, so I guess I can get back to the beginning really easy. All right, you shiny piece of fecal material. Generally, this car does everything okay, but it doesn't do anything fantastically. You can see the speed, like its ability to gain speed is much slower than any of the other cars that we've tested, but maybe the top speed is higher. So 118, 19, 20. Okay, it is the new number. Oh wow, 22, 23. 24, uh huh, 25. Yeah. 20. Wow, I got double tapped. Well, it's the winner so far. Family car. 122 is the most I was able to get. I'm going to go flying now. Graffiti mobile. 120. Can you get above 125? Uh, 124. And 124. Get it! Stick to the landing on the roof. Oh, Sadmint is running it. Sadmint is running it. 124, 125, 126, 127. Ow! Wow, and it made it through. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. So now this is in first place so far. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Maybe the Krieger's the one. Uh... It was! Okay, so checkpoint, and the Krieger does have the highest top speed. So now, that's a point for the Krieger. Alright, so that means now we have a three-way tie. Which car is faster around a hairpin track? Hold on, don't ask why. Uh. 48.5. This is so unbelievably specific. Is this just like constant 90 degree angle turns? Oh yeah. Oh, it 100% is. And... If I had to guess, the only cars that are going to have any chance of doing this in that amount of time is going to be an open wheel car, maybe the electric car, but then we're not really going to have a winner. We'd have like a we'd have like a four-way tie. <laughs> so it's probably going to end up being one of the electric cars. I don't think that the Krieger can do this at all. Oh god. And of course, there's slow down circles on every single corner. Okay, there's the end. Wow, look at how much space and time I still had left to come even like as close as possible. I wanted to try the electric car just to see, maybe it was capable of getting a point and putting this thing into like gigantic levels of overtime. And this is a good run, but, and I've done this twice now, that's about as close as I can get. All right. One of you two open wheels is gonna be the one. We're gonna try and use the faster one first. Now the only problem that I can foresee is the smaller one, the PR4 or whatever it's called, is just straight up more, it's just more nimble around corners. This isn't so much how hard can you strangle someone to death, this is more how much of your hand can you fit around their neck. Let's just put it that way, that's a, some good symbolism. I think when it comes to this track and now you get a little bit of a straightaway This is where this car would pick up some extra speed, but is this gonna do even as well as God With electric car. Oh, hold on Hold on. No, I've given this another couple of shots just to make sure that I can't like perfectly curb boost when I'm able to and shave like another half second off of this run. No, that all that did was cost me more time. I can't be sure, but I think we're gonna get a winner and it's gonna be the slushy mobile, the old pimp wasser to, well, all right, maybe this run ain't gonna be it. I mean, I get steep. I can keep running through this just to see. I will say it does take these turns incredibly well. Um, like it comes out of the turn and regains its speed very quickly. So I get to enter the tip of the turn at about 75 miles an hour every single time. You notice it doesn't even get to 100 though on that straightaway. The other faster open wheel did hit 100, but this is a game of half seconds now. And whether or not this has the half second needed. Oh my God, the wall's not up yet. The wall's not up yet, oh my God. I, we have a winner, the wall just came up. This thing wins by a mile! Well, I tested handling and performance, and the answer is always more sugar, apparently. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>